What we're up to today is, as some of you have probably been following, for the first time ever the Senate started considering climate change legislation this past week, which is definitely a historic moment, but the legislation was really not in line with what climate science is telling us is necessary, and the legislation failed but we think it's important to make note of the fact that next time around, when the legislation is reconsidered, it needs to be much bolder. And so as grassroots activists, it's our job to tell our representatives, in this case, Senator Boxer, that we're behind them when they advocate for stronger legislation. So we're gonna read to you just a version of this letter that we sent to Barbara Boxer, which she's seen, her staff has seen, and uh, they know we're here today taking this photo. But we just wanted to let you guys in on the fun there. <laughs> so Kelly and I can take turns reading. <clears throat> Dear Senator Boxer, thanks in no small measure to your efforts, the U.S. Senate has just finished the first serious debate in its history on climate change. We're grateful you did the work to help bring the subject to the floor. Today we are marking this historic moment by spelling out a human 350 in front of your San Francisco office. As you know, 350 parts per million represents the safe upper limit for carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. NASA's Dr. James Hansen said it best, if humanity wishes to preserve a planet similar to that on which civilization developed, to which life on Earth is adapted, paleoclimate evidence and ongoing climate change suggest that CO2 will need to be reduced from its current 385 parts per million to at most 350 parts per million. We are grateful for your efforts heretofore in bringing climate change to a position of prominence in the U.S. Senate. We make special note of your support for the Step It Up Days of Action, which we also organized. We hope that the latest climate science will guide continuing debate even more strongly than it has in the past. Nature's realities do not always align with political ones, but we are here to voice support for climate policy.